What is good guys? Welcome back to another video. Many ask which unit to assemble, which is the best unit. There's many options. It really depends of your uh, style of play, what you like and what you already have. And there are so many choices. So instead of telling you which unit to assemble or which unit to pick, I'm going to tell you which unit not to pick the absolutely worst unit in this game. And before you throw rocks at me because you just assembled that unit, well, this is my opinion, guys. And um, don't forget that at this point, the game changes a lot. So maybe today it's the worst unit. And who knows, maybe tomorrow or at the next update, it will be the best unit to, to get. Okay? So... Take it easy, uh, you can always assemble a new unit, and if you didn't, j then watch this video, and you'll have a, a, a better idea of what I'm talking about. So, the absolutely worst unit to get, or one of the worst unit to get, is the Tank Hunter. And I know many players who enjoy their Tank Hunters, I even know one player in our alliance who rocks five tank hunters why i don't know he likes it okay so why do i consider this to be the worst unit for a few reasons first of all if you observe on the, the battlefield you will notice that the battlefield is crawling with light tanks and medium tanks and yes uh, a few super heavies but it's the, the, the battlefield will uh, be uh, battles will be fought between light and medium tanks. There are massive army groups of those units all over the battlefield, and light tank and medium tank they counter the tank hunter. Uh huh. So, and how do I know that? It's really easy. Now with the game. Everything is written properly. It's clear to understand. You just have to look for this information. So when you click on Tank Hunter, you will see that counters heavy tank, countered by medium tank and light tanks. So what does it mean? It means that if you go toe-to-toe -to -toe against a medium or a light tank, doesn't matter how strong your Tank Hunter is, you will lose. Okay. It doesn't matter how strong your officers are. Well, th there's a limit, but you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, uh, average tank hunter versus average medium or light tank, you will lose no matter what. It's made to counter that unit. So uh, the benefit of the tank hunter, it counters the heavy tank, but nobody's using the heavy tank. There's so few of them. I use one, but I'm almost alone, right? It's either super heavies or medium and light. That's the most common unit on the battlefield, right? What makes it bad is, well, since there's it, it's you're, you're, the odds are heavily stacked against you, first of all, so we're, we're off to a bad start. But when you look carefully, uh, you go to attributes, and it's it's kind of hard for me to compare because I don't have two equivalent unit, but uh, the load speed it's quite slow. A medium tank will fire much faster than this, than the tank hunter. So you counter uh, when you will attack our artillery. You're off. You're better off with a light and medium tank that fires faster than the tank hunter. Okay. And another way to compare is with the manual. Now we have access to all the data you need. So you go to camp, manual. I'm gonna pull out the top of the line tank hunter that I don't have. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare it to a equivalent medium tank. So right off the bat, uh, the medium has a little bit less firepower than the tank hunter, okay? 
but durability the medium has much more durability than the tank hunter why because the armor depth is is much less than the medium so of course the penetration depth is stronger because the tank hunter will deal more damage to a heavy besides that it rolls almost as fast as the medium uh, got m much less armor than the medium and uh, far the, the reload speed is much slower than the medium so if there's no heavy on the battlefield you're uh, you're not in good shape against most of the, the the most common enemy which is the most common unit should i say which is light and medium um the tank hunter will deal more damage to the super heavy but the ultimate unit that will counter the super heavy is the anti-tank gun and the anti-tank gun is the second worst unit to get <laughs> okay so if you got both the tank hunter and the anti-tank gun please don't throw your phone away or uninstall the game uh they're not completely useless but they the the, the main reason why the anti-tank gun is not my my preferred unit is it's mostly a defensive unit okay you you don't want to roll on the battlefield with the anti-tank gun you will get smashed pretty quick it it rolls slow uh it got three grids uh range firing range rather than four grid for the uh, howitzer but you're gonna tell me yeah the rocket truck also have three grids yeah but the rocket truck rolls as fast as a medium and the rocket truck got a load speed of two seconds and the rocket truck can annihilate howitzer and infantry which the anti-tank gun can't do and it doesn't have any structural damage it it's absolutely bad for infantry thank god there's not much around it's only good against super heavies and now super heavies it's not really a threat because most of the attack against bases are are made by army groups the super heavy will melt anyways right it's all the artillery behind it that will do most of the damage so by the time that the super heavy melts your base is already half um half gone so regardless the anti-tank gun doesn't do much in the equation i think the howitzer will deal as much damage as the anti-tank gun because it will fire faster and with the proper officer uh it, it's it's more like a universal unit better for offense than the anti-tank gun so it's a more versatile unit of, by far so that's what i want to talk about guys uh like i said if you like those units good if you think that you can do better yeah you can do better you just you just have to do what you have to do okay deal with what you have try to to do the most with what you have but if you want my opinion backed by uh, numbers the king of the battlefield will remain the medium and the light tank and if you want to counter a uh, super heavy instead of building an anti-tank gun why don't you build a second artillery you will survive much longer and you will be able to do more damage attacking rather than using the anti-tank gun guys that's all i had to say today uh, keep following me for uh, more content um i don't know if you are part of our cluster of server uh, uh, server that will commence san francisco soon if so good luck I will post more in-game footage because I know you guys uh, like that. And uh, that's it, guys. Have a great weekend and see you at in the next video.